hey guys so I am back with like my third installment for my dumpster dive haul videos I have pretty much been on a roll with this whole dumpster dive thing I pretty much know when I need to go um, what days the trash is most accumulated etc um, if you have questions leave them below I will be sure to answer them like I do all of the time um any questions like I said just leave them down below because I'm gonna try and go through this one pretty quick I'm gonna make this one hopefully a 20 minute video I have a lot to show you I have way more but I'm splitting it up so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned until the next episode to see um, the other stuff that I got so starting with the clothes um got these pair of men jeans um, most of the stuff it was nothing wrong with I went ahead and went through the stuff this time so um most of the stuff it was nothing really wrong with it like most of the stuff was taken home and washed or worn and that's pretty much it so those were sweatpants these are some like um kids jeans nothing wrong with them um these are like, what do you call these, like slacks or something like that. Those. Sorry, I'm in a different setting today. I decided to film where I film my makeup videos, so, yeah. Um, these are like some little boy jeans right here. Well, they were like, yeah, little boy khakis. These are some little boy khakis as well. These are some little boy khakis. Well, not khakis, but they look like <laughs> pants they wear at, like, grown men wear at, like, a garage to fix your car. Um, some leggings with the big hole in the butt which I'm definitely gonna sew those up for myself um this thermal which I'm gonna keep for myself which looks like that this is a sweater looks like a man sweater but I'm definitely gonna keep and wear this for myself as well this is a long sleeve shirt for a little man this t-shirt right here which has a hole in it which I'm probably gonna toss this because I don't know anybody anyway you know and I don't think it would do any good to carry that to Goodwill here's some bigger size men's pants they are a size 3830. These are some black like work pants. This is a cardigan. It's a small cardigan. I so wish I could wear it. I'm mad. I'm not mad, I'm sad. Um these are Pants, they are size 18, a little too big for me, but they are an 18. These like pants right here, I don't know if they're kids or what, they're 14, so I'm guessing 14 youth, obviously. So I have this vest right here, which looks like that. I'm probably not going to make the 20 minute mark, but it's still going to be split up, so. This is basically going to be clothes and makeup and stuff. These are um, a size 16 pants. This looks like this, and they're boot cut. And these pixie pants. They're like a capri their size 18 and it was pretty much nothing really wrong with these clothes so yeah okay so obviously from back and body works I got 
all of these pretty much and I don't really plan on like because I don't know the scent so all I can do is just show you guys um, I've already used two one in my room and one in our den um, also really quick I found this purse at Goodwill I just wanted to add this in there since this is all about being frugal and things um, I found this Kenneth Cole purse at my local Goodwill so I'm super excited and it looks pretty clean and everything so yeah right now I'm carrying my Michael Kors purse that I got for Christmas so it'll probably be a minute before I, you know um I think these came from the Dollar Tree they um recalled these or something like that well I'm just marked down for disposal so I have a whole lot of these gauze which we use around here um I have some stuff in this big Victoria not Victoria's Secret but Bath and Body Works bag so first off I have game cases and none of the DS games are uh, ouch, in here so first off is the Harry Potter game case pets to nursery Kirby Mass Attack Phineas and Ferb whoops Phineas and Ferb Littlest Pet Shop a bowl a candle which it doesn't seem like anything is wrong with it it looks like they tried to like break the wicks or somebody broke the wicks but um, you can freaking burn this down and get to the wicks so this one again is eucalyptus mint I don't know if I said that or not so this is the first candle I actually found that was like the whole candle because the last candle all the other candles I got I never showed on here because I threw them away because I had stepped on glass and all that I'm not mm -mm. Um, this is like a little sponge I guess to wash dishes with um, Super Mario Brothers game case some plates some play-doh which I'll give to Asia my sister um some hand cream shea cashmere looks like it's maybe like a little bit left in here um a phone case for an iPhone 4 it looks like q-tips cotton well not cotton rounds but cotton pads and cotton balls so that comes in handy because I play with a lot of makeup and these are the plastic ice cubes which I'm kind of skeptical about using them in my drink I don't know I've always felt some type of way about using plastic ice I don't know um and this is the forever midnight luminous body souffle and this was the sample and pretty much all of it is in here and it smells really really good okay trying to clear the way okay um found two boxes of tissues this little spiral thing two we active personal trainer games along with um Two of the little, I think, I guess maybe like motion detectors or heartbeat measure thingies. There's no girls allowed thing, which I'll give to Asia. And then these scissors, I found two pairs of those actually, which we always need scissors around here. Um, keeping um the Bath and Body Works trend or haul. This is Sweet Pea Lotion. This is sparkling limoncello. That's weird. Um, this is the hand foaming soap, which looks like this, and it's in the flavor. I don't know because they removed all of the stickers on it. And this one is in Perfect Beach Day, 
course it's like that. Black Cherry Merlot. I'm sorry, it feels like something is crawling on me. Which bugs tend to pick with me because I hate them. But this is Black Cherry Merlot. This is Dark Amber for Men, which is one of my favorites for my boyfriend. I love this scent on him. Um, this is Pacific Cool Breeze, and it's one of the deep cleansing hand look, um, hand washes. This is Blossom, excuse me, Apple Blossom and Lavender Lotion. And then a few of these, which I love these. I have one now in my, book, my I was about to say purse, but in my book bag. This one is Vanilla Bean Noel. Snow Kiss Berry. Honolulu Sun. And another Snow Kiss Berry. So, yeah. Next. More back and forth works. Mad about you, which I think I showed and I just got back in this bag. This is um Ohu. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's a Hawaiian Hawaiian name. But this is it. And it smells really good. And I have I found this. I'm gonna I have to see if it works actually. So let me leave that out. Um I have a lot of these, so here's one. Snowflake, Ladybug, some plain ones, another Snowflake, another plain one, and a flower one right here. So I have tons of those, which I'm actually excited because I could put them all over the house. Connected to that Bath and Body Works was a... Um, was a, uh, I think this is glass. Yeah, that's glass. Connected to the Bath and Body Works was a, um, uh, I forget, Yankee Candle. And I got this thing, and it's a heated pot warmer. Doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it. And then a broken candle at the bottom of the bag, which, is this is what it looks like which I'll keep this because there's actually little to no glass on it I'm just gonna have to wipe it down those other ones were horrible more from Bath and Body Works this is honey nectarines sweet pea Oops. peach and honey almond French lavender and honey, lemon pomegranate cream, beautiful day, and amber blush. Um, next, these are all the exfoliating hand soaps. So this one is winter citrus wreath. Ice Blackberry, Fresh Sparkling Snow, Pumpkin Frost, stickers covering it up, and Meyer Lemon. On this one, yeah, and Pink Passion Fruit. So that's those. Oh, also, and the clothes. I got this scarf. It's an infinity scarf. Um, I found this little thing from there. So I'm going to put some stuff in it. found this like planner and some old out of date um, calendars, which still are good to write stuff in. So what I plan on doing, honestly, is having like a little yard sale or something this summer. So yeah. Um, oh, I have more stuff. So, this is the Eucalyptus Mint Deep Cleansing Hand Wash. 
This one is White Citrus. This one is True Blue Spa with Shea Butter. This one is the Sleep Body Wash Detoxify While You Dream um, Aromatherapy Line. This is the Sleep Aromatherapy Japanese Cherry Blossom Kitchen Lemon. That's neat. Another um, True Blue Spa Smoothing Foot Scrub. I'm going to have to try that. And Sweet Pea. And last, ooh, but not least, Warm Sugar Vanilla. Warm Vanilla Sugar, excuse me. This is my favorite lotion. I have this in my purse, actually. Okay, so I also found these boots in a size 3. Which the only things were, I don't know, it looks like somebody maybe swapped them out or like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, like stole some shoes and swapped them out because the, I don't know what that was. The um, heels of them, you see, are detaching, but I still can sell these or something at a yard sale. Um, also, I forgot about this bag. I don't know what's in here. I have this. Um, calculator which it says is just um, it says that the paper won't catch through this so this is just one of those print and rip kind of calculators found this little truck and I found this HD TV digital antenna and a lot of cords to computers and stuff and I also found um, super glue a lot of these Fisker um, razor edge blades and what is in here what I don't even, wow sorry I don't even know how all of this was compiled this is a sharpie paint marker Ooh, it paints white. I'm definitely going to keep that. Um, this goes to, oh, this goes to the calculator. All the cords that go to the calculator. Okay, okay. Now I know. Now I know. Okay, so the last thing that I have to show you guys is the stuff that I got from Ulta, which I just put in this Bath and Body Works bag. So I finally think I found an Ulta that no one goes to because I found quite a lot of stuff like if somebody went there they wouldn't have left it. I know I wouldn't leave any of the makeup there if I you know was digging through the dumpster. But I don't think anybody goes to this dumpster or if they do they may I don't know maybe go sooner than I do because all of the Ultas I go to are at least 30 minutes to an hour away but when I go to each and every one it's usually because I'm visiting someone there because we're in the middle in the city of nowhere so it doesn't matter where we go I have to drive far distance to get to point A to point B so I just go and check out the Ultas around the area but um, previous to this I did find this um, face machine like face machine this um what do you call this I have the Clarisonic but I can't think like this Face brush. We're going to call it a face brush. Okay, wow. And it's by DDF. And they're a really good brand, so. Oh my god. So I'm trying to turn it off, okay? And it keeps getting faster. Okay, so I wonder do you charge this? I guess not. I guess you just pop the batteries out. Whoops. So I guess you just pop the batteries in and out or whatever. So I found this and I also, wow, I cannot get this thing to cut off. And I also found this microderma, microderma crystals. And this is just an exfoliator and it's really full. It has all the product seems to be in it. And this is the polishing crystal. So this is like an exfoliating kit. And today when I went 
you guys might have seen me post on the forum. I went to go and check out two of those um, um, Ultas, and somebody goes dumpster dives there because all the bags were ripped, all the boxes were empty, all of that. The only thing that was left was this right here, and I just grabbed it. And then when I got in the car, I realized it was basically an empty concealer. So, yeah. And then I went one other time. Same thing. I was left with this old nasty lipstick. So, I just wanted to show you what you could find and what you could not find. Um, but anyway, on to what I did find. And I was super happy to at least find something this time. It wasn't a whole lot like I see some girls with. But it was enough. Um, I found these hair ties, which I will definitely be using. Because I use those often. Another little hair tie um the most exciting thing oh and these nail like jewels right here which i'm sure i won't use i'll probably give those to my little cousin because she's into the whole nail art thing now so i found i think 10 of these two four five two four five yes i found 10 of the stila lip glazes you guys 10 of them two of them were untouched but the other ones i can fix because you twist up the actual lip product out of these and to have so much makeup in my collection i do not own these so i can say that i'm really excited and they're all pretty much halfway full uh well about about 50 percent less left or about a uh, majority of the way full and I'm glad that I found these. Also, like I said, you can disinfect these. All you really got to do is alcohol or Clorox, whatever you do. The tips of these down and you're pretty much good to go because the product comes up from out the bottom of the pan. So, I got um, Glint. This one is Glitter. This one is Gleam. Glow, Glisten, Apricot, Glory, Glamour, um, Majest, wow, Majesty, excuse me, and glimmer another one so I guess I got two of one okay so that's those these I don't know what I want to do with these just yet I don't know what I want to do with these just yet. I'll probably I may toss them I don't know but it, uh, this one doesn't look used but this one on the other hand does this one really doesn't but anyway they're they're the Laura Geller color drenched lip glosses and this one is in milkshake and this one is in pink lemonade also found a lipstick in pink mink which if I want to if I end up liking this color I can always just cut the tip off and dip this in some alcohol but it is in pink mink um Next, I found the Perk Up Artist by Benefit, and it still has a little bit of these left. Um, I don't know what I want to do with this just yet. I might give it a try. You know, I'm not a big dramaphobe, so I know how to clean off makeup, but this is it. And it has the corrector, the cover up, so the corrector, concealer, and the brightener. And if not, I'll just keep it because I like the packaging. So I'm a hoarder, I think. I'm in the small stages, baby step stages of hoarding. I also found two shadows from Benefit, which these all powder products can be just fixed and held onto. This one is in the color Rain Check, which is a light lavender purple color, which it doesn't even look like it's been used. Um, and I also found Quick Look Busy. Oh, Quick Look Busy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, I also found this Laura Geller Gilded Honey Baked Gelato 
lace illuminator. I I own one of the um, gelato blushes and I really like the consistency of these so I can't wait to try this out especially as a highlighter and the rest of the products are Laura Geller products this one is an baked marble eyeshadow duo which looks like this and it barely looks like anyone even touched it this is the Eye Elements Baked Eyeshadow and Highlighter. So you have the eyeshadows over here, and then you have the highlighter here. I've never tried this actual product out before. I have tons of Laura Geller blushes because I really love her blushes because they usually fairly pretty much suit deeper complexions. And this was a dome blush once before but it's broken but it's still usable this is the blush and brighten and pink grapefruit which looks like that it seems like it was broken because when I opened it some of it fell out the next one is um, baked brulee blush berry cream which looks like that Ooh, yes, I cannot wait to use that either. This is the perfect, perfect color. They almost look like the mineralized skin finishes. So, that's that color. This one is Balance and Brighten Foundation Medium. So, this is a foundation right here. And this one is also a foundation, and it's in the color Fair, which if I don't give these away or whatever, I'm probably just going to highlight or something with those. But that is all for my haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and stay tuned for my next week, next week's haul, if that made any sense. But just stay tuned for that haul. Um, that'll include a lot of the like electronics and household appliances and Keurigs, etc. You know. Um, so just stay tuned for that. And I want to start cutting these videos a little bit shorter so that I can um, kind of save some of the products too for the oncoming weeks, so that I can so that I can have more videos to upload for you guys because kind of dumpster diving before I was in school dumpster diving was pretty much an easy thing to do now it's like uh, another job so I kind of have to um, schedule it precisely so um anyway with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time see you guys later also don't forget to follow me on Instagram I'll leave my link well leave my name down below which is beautyfreak92 which you'll see right here because it stays like on the video the whole time um but follow me on instagram also don't forget to share this video like this video um share it on youtube share it on facebook instagram wherever you share your videos and spread the word about dumpster diving because it's a great thing it's really fun and it's really awesome if you haven't tried it maybe you should but again, if you found this video useful, helpful, or entertaining in any type of way, then don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye!